Every Christian knows Genesis 1-1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. That's, however, a controversial verse, uh, particularly in it's, uh, how we understand the word heaven in that verse. Um, it's a controversial verse because it's not entirely clear exactly how it fits with the rest of the chapter and the rest of the book. Uh, some see it as a title that uh, is announcing the contents of what follows in Genesis 1 uh, up to Genesis 2-3. Uh, I think rather it's stating the first act of creation. Uh, the grammar supports that and it's stating that God initially creates two zones. He creates a world with two different zones in it. One that's named heaven and the other that's named earth. And then after Genesis 1-1, the focus turns to earth. When you begin Genesis 1-2, the earth is without form and void and darkness is on the face of the deep. So the, the focus has gone from a world that is dual, dual uh, has two different, uh, two different areas and two different zones to focusing on what God does in the earth. But it's important to see how heaven works and how, what heaven means in Genesis 1-1. I think heaven, uh, in Genesis 1-1, heaven refers to uh, the highest heavens, God's abode. Uh, after Genesis 1-2, God uh, focuses on the earth and what he's doing with the earth. But within the earth, God creates a second heaven, you could say. He inserts a firmament between the waters so that there are waters above and waters below. And he calls that firmament heaven. There's a visible heaven uh, that's the uh, sky above us, the dome of the sky. Uh, that has the sun during the day and the moon and the stars at night. And then there's a highest heaven. But that relationship between the highest heaven and the visible heaven is one that the Bible deals a lot with. And the visible heaven that we can see above us is an image of the highest heaven. Uh, the, uh, uh, the skies above us are filled with shining stars, are filled with light. Uh, and when we see glimpses into the highest heaven where God is, we can see that there are uh, angelic lights, uh, cre creatures of light that are surrounding the throne of God. Uh, the visible heaven manifests as the invisible heaven. Now that dual, that dual world of heaven and earth sets up a trajectory for the rest of the Bible. Uh, the Bible, you could say, is about uh, the conform, uh, God conforming earth to heaven, God remaking earth so that it becomes like heaven. Ultimately, in Revelation, we see heaven and earth joined as the heavenly city of Jerusalem descends and joins to earth. So the, the story of the Bible is about the relationship between God's dwelling place and man's dwelling place and their eventual convergence uh, in a new heavens and a new earth. I'm Peter Lightheart, president of the Theopolis Institute. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also please leave your comments and questions. We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to have you return and watch future videos.